Welcome to this episode of Riding with Dirt Lad. Kind of a non-motorcycle related topic today. As you can probably see from the description, I want to talk about hobbies other than motorcycling. So like a lot of other people during the pandemic, I've done a few things that, you know, maybe I would have done a long time ago, but like when I was a kid. Like a lot of other people, I have taken up bread baking. Yeah, I know, it's funny. Last year I started off with a no-knead bread. Basically you mix the ingredients, let it sit for 12 hours, sort of shape it once, let it sit for a couple of hours, bake it on a high oven setting, and away you go. Throw a link in the description to a gentleman who is making artisan bread. I want to say it's about three, three and a half cups of flour, two and two thirds cups of water. A tablespoon of yeast, or a teaspoon of yeast, sorry, a teaspoon of yeast. A little more than a teaspoon of salt, mix, let it set. It's a very high hydration dough. For those who don't know what that is, you get a very sticky or shaggy dough. Your first in inclination will be to add more flour to absorb some of that water. No, no, let it do its job. After you've mixed it up, the amount of yeast you've used to sort of spread throughout the uh, dough and it does its job over the next 12 hours just sitting on the counter covered in cling wrap. Next morning do a quick shape and tuck and roll into a ball and boom you're going. Cooking temperature about 450 for 20-25 minutes. And then I use a Dutch oven with a lid sort of traps all the steam in there during that 25 minutes and then to sort of finish it off you pull the lid off for another 20 minutes and that browns up the crust and you get a nice loaf of fresh bread for breakfast. Like I said, link in the description. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm just returning from a co-worker's house because I've been working on a sourdough rat, a sourdough starter for the last couple of months and I'm liking where it's at. And on the weekend, I bought a grain mill, uh, an attachment to my KitchenAid stand mixer. So I took some wheat berries, and I just want to call them generic wheat berries from Bulk Barn. So, 
Couldn't tell you if they were organic. Couldn't tell you where they were from. But you get all the wheat, the germ, the bran. I didn't sift anything out because that would have been required owning a sifter. But yeah, so did that on the weekend, made three loaves of bread, took a loaf to some co-workers. Uh, neat thing about these co-workers co is they've sort of taken on, I don't know if you want to call it urban agriculture or, or what. But they've uh, done up their landscaping in their backyard. They have little, um, I don't want to say, I'm going to say they don't have any grass, but they have little garden plots. Um, and they have a chicken coop with four chickens. Which I think is cool as all get out. So, in exchange for a loaf of bread, I was delivered four, so I guess we'll call it urban farm fresh eggs, laid by Princess Leia, L-A-Y-A, and Jar Jar Box. Which is... If you like Star Wars puns and you like eggs, this is the place for you. So yeah, tried something new. Over the past year I have made homemade pasta. Actually, these two co-workers, uh, they've done that before and they'd lent me their uh, pasta machine, which was very awesome. I think my cinnamon rolls are on point. My bread is obviously fantastic. So there you go. Life is not all about motorcycling.